All right, in this video, we're going to talk about a little bit about the ribosomes and um, and how uh, translation begins. So we got the 70s in prokaryotes, 80s in eukaryotes, and they are they remain as two separate subunits when they're not actively translating. Um, and uh, prokaryotes, they have this size ribosomal RNA in them, 5s, 23s, and 16s. These are all the ribosomal RNA sizes in prokaryotes. And uh, small subunit also has 21 proteins in addition to the 16s RNA. And the large subunit has 20, 34 proteins. And these two ribosomal RNAs, 5s and 23. Um, and this shows on this side what the eukaryotes have. Uh, the important thing to know is that uh, 23 and 28, it's 28, 28, 23 and 28, these are the ribosomal RNA that are involved in the peptide bond, bond formation. So that's important to know. So they have the enzymatic activity, 23S and the 28S. Um, okay. And this one, okay. Um, before the translation starts, there has to be two interactions. The pairing of the mRNA with the 3' end of the 16S ribosome RNA. So 16S, this RNA has to has to bind to the Shan Delgarno sequence, which we'll see on the next slide, which is about six pairs bases upstream of the AOG start start codon. And the mRNA initiation codon with the anti codon, so the uh, so the tRNA that's going to bring F met or formal methionine has to bind to the <clears throat> to the right position which is on the P site um, and then if initiation factor 1 initiation factor 2 and initiation factor 3 have distinct roles which we'll see coming up so these are the shine Delgarno sequences which are approximately six six um, nucleotides away from the start codon AUG. We here you see GUG, it's like the exception to the rule, you don't really have to know about it. Uh, in, some, in this particular bacteria, GUG is the start codon. And um, the, the 3 prime end of the 16S ribosomal RNA is making this uh, complementary base pairing with the Shine Delgarno sequence of the messenger RNA and the uh, start codons here. Okay. Um, and um, then we have multiple Shine Delgarno sequences and then AUG. And then you have multiple proteins being produced. So this would be called polycystronic organization in the bacteria. So the Proteins that work together are usually strong like this in one place in one mRNA bacteria. Um, so you can have simultaneous uh, production of proteins in bacteria like this. Okay, and then we have the initiation factors, the F3, IF3 is gonna bind to is gonna is gonna bind to the P side and IF1 to the A site initiation factor three P side initiation factor one to the A site and um, this one's gonna prevent the large subunit from binding over here and this one's gonna prevent elongation from taking place before uh, formal methionine can be brought 
and uh, the peak side is open and this is where formal methionine is gonna the transfer RNA that's gonna bind to that's gonna bring formal methionine is gonna come and um, initiation factor 2 is gonna bring the formal methionine bearing tRNA the anticodon binds over here formal methionine is here GTP is being used and um, so we got the formal methionine here and then once that's bound all the initiation factors leave so the A site and um, the A site is A site is free and I have three leaves so that uh, the large subunit can bind and uh, elongation can occur and this is how elongation happens the, the electrons from the nitrogen attack the or are shared with the carbon here and it grows that way and over here in the formal methionine um, there's a formal it's formulated so you can't you can't use formal methionine to elongate all right that's about it for this video